I'm Tracy from Barodia Library and today I'm going to be cooking scones and the recipe that we're using is from the CWA. The ladies of the Baronia CWA gave me this scone mixture and this is the same scone mixture that they use at the Royal Melbourne Show and it's really easy to use. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, first of all, we get self-raising flour. Any self-raising flour will do, it doesn't make any difference. And you put four cups. So you do four cups of self-raising flour. Level cups of some frozen flour. There And four, just like that. Let's put that over here. Now, just a tip: um, this dough is quite soft, so before you put it onto your board, just make sure you flour your board like this. Put flour on your board because you're going to knead it on the board and roll it out on the board like that. Another good tip too is we don't have a scone cutter today, but we're using a glass. So before you actually cut your scones, if you just put flour on your glass like that, it won't stick to the mixture. And another good tip is make sure when you're kneading, you put flour on your hands as well, so that um, it doesn't stick to your hands. I'm gonna wash my hands now because I've got flour on it. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so to that mixture, this is a hint from Pam from the CWA, the president of the CWA, to make a lot of scone, for every cup of flour, you put in one tablespoon of corn flour and it makes the scone to be a much lighter. So we're gonna do that now. We're gonna add four tablespoons of flour to the mixture. Corn flour to the mixture. Level teaspoons. and we'll mix the corn flour through the self-raising flour. Now to that, just make like a little well in the bottom, we add our cream. So it is, I've got um, the home brand Safeway cream and it's the thickened cream that we need to use. And what we do, we use 300 mils of that cream. Pour that into our mixture, just like that. And also to that mixture, we also add 300 mils of full cream milk. This is a really great scone mixture. It's light, fluffy, makes, you can either have, I like a bigger scone. So we just add that to the mixture. So I use the, I don't have a scone cutter at home. Um, so my tip is to use a glass and this is, probably about the same size as a scone cutter, but the glass I used yesterday, because I prepared some scones earlier, um, I used, I like a bigger scone, so I used a bigger glass. So once that's in, you put one tea, teaspoon, one teaspoon of sugar to that mixture. Just like that, and that's done. So what we do is we mix it up. So we'll just mix it up like this. Once it starts forming, I'll get Carolyn to come over and you can have a look what it looks like. So I'm mixing it up. It's pretty much a, a, quite a soft dough. This is what it's supposed to look like. See how easy this is to make? It's just unbelievable how easy it is. It's just great. Okay, so that's all mixed up. That's what it's supposed to look like. Just like that. Okay. So a tip, as I said before, before we put it onto our board, get a bit of flour and flour your hands. And that way, do it over the sink so you don't get it all over the floor. If you flour your hands, that way it won't stick. 
and as I said, flail the cup. So we just put our scone mixture, just like that. See how it falls onto the flowered board? Scrape it in, stuff out of the bowl, just like that. My tip is when you're cooking, clean as you go. That way you don't have so much all in your body. So we're finished with that. So all we need to do now is that we add this into the kitchen and that's out of our way so that we don't have anything in my way. So what we do is we get the dough, we turn it and we knead it. Just like that. And on the flour board, it's not as it's not as gooey. Oops, sorry, Carolyn, I'm getting you with the flour here. If you need a little bit more flour, just put it on the thing there. See where it's sticking a little bit there? And I'll just flour my hands as well. So you just knead it. And you'll and you'll know about the feel of it when it's ready. So just leave it like that. Okay. All right, then you just pat it out. Like that, two centimetres. Just have a look, Carolyn, so you look what it, look how thick it looks. Well, I'll just go and wash my hands. So that's what it's supposed to look like. So before we cut it, we'll get our trays and we will grease them. What I tend to do is I get a little bit of butter and I you can use grease proof paper if you want or we don't have that today, or you can use foil. But at home, I do exactly the same thing. I just get a little bit of margarine or a little bit of butter. And I just get a paper towel. I'll put a little bit of smidgen on there like that. Just like this. Don't have to do much. And another little tip. My grandmother taught me this. That way you don't have to use grease with paper. It's just to get a little bit of flour and you just sprinkle it onto the trays, just like that. That's all you need to do. Okay, so now we're ready. Now all we do now is we cut the dough. So we get our little cutter. So I'll get Carolyn to come over here so you can see what we're doing and how thick it is. As I said, I like a thicker, a good scone, so we just go like that. Just like that. Just like that. See, and it's stuck, but it's come out. So it needs a bit of more flour on it. Just like that. So it just looks like that, so it won't stick to your dough. And Okay, so we grab them, you put them on the tray. Um, make sure there's a little bit of space together so they don't, because they do rise, so they don't stick together. Okay, then the rest of our, we need it again, just like that. And do exactly the same thing. Try not to handle the dough too much, because otherwise, it's not as light and fluffy. Pat it down. Put it on your tray. Again, you keep doing this till you have no dough left. Okay, here we go. See how easy this, I mean, it's so easy and scones are just great to have, like, when you have people over, um, oh, it's just, just fantastic. Like, there's nothing like a good scone and it's just so easy to use. You know, just, oh, taste amazing. We are lucky girls today. We're going to be having scones and jam and cream. Okay, so with the last bit of the page, paste um, dough, roll it into a ball like this. Put this over here. Pat it down. 
and there you go. And the leftover pastry, that's all you've got left. You don't need to use that, so we'll chuck that in the bin. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna put a little bit of milk on top of the scones to make them nice and brown. You cook them 12 to 15 minutes in a oven preheated at 200 degrees Celsius. So just get a little bit of milk like this. You don't need a pastry brush if you don't want. If you've got one, that's great. If you don't, that's not a big deal. Get your little finger, your finger and just go like that. My nan taught me how to do this. She never used a pastry brush. Every oven's different, so just keep an eye on it. When the tops are brown, um, the means that they're ready. And if, a little trick, if you tap on top of the scone and it's got a, like a hollow sound, doesn't sound like that, but a hollow, a hollow sound when it's warm, you know it's cooked. So all we do now is we put it in the oven at 200 degrees. Make sure before you do, I should have said this at the beginning, make sure before you start cooking, that you actually preheat the oven 200 degrees because for scones to rise, they need to be in a really hot oven. So I'm going to chuck these in here. Okay, do not open the oven for the first five minutes because if you open the oven, you lose the heat and if the scones rise, it'll go, it'll look like a pie plate because it'll drop straight away. All right, these are the ones I've prepared before. They are... Oh, yeah. I've moved this so many times, I've got where I picked them. Now these are what your beautiful scones are going to look like. Have a look at that. Big, beautiful scones. They don't have to be round or perfectly shaped. They just have to be like that. That's what they look like. They look amazing. So we're going to cut one open now. Here's my plate. I put some cream on. And we're going to have it with raspberry jam. There's our cream, there's our jam. Hang on, just open that up. Oh. If you have a hard time opening your jar, sometimes if we'll run it under hot water, we'll loosen it. Let's see if that does the trick. The moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Pick her. There we go. This is what it looks like when it's cooked. Look at that. Cannot wait to get my paws on this. I am excited. So I'll get a little bit of strawberry jam. Raspberry. Put it on like that. Here we go. And it's up to you how much jam you put on it. You might like a lot of jam or a little bit of jam. Me, I love everything big. Here we go. We'll get our spoon. And here you go. Bob's your uncle. Look at that. And that's what it looks like. So also, before I go, I want to remind everybody that we are actually, I'll just get my glasses, having a virtual Biggest Morning Tea on the 28th of May at um, 10.30. You can donate on our, on our webpage for the Cancer Cancel. Um, we're going to share and swap ideas and recipes, have a couple with your favourite librarians and cake and have a talk and a chat. You can learn again how to make scones. Join me on the day. We will make some more scones as well. Um, and all donations can be made through the Eastern Regional Library fundraiser page. So please join us at the virtual morning tea. The way you join is through Zoom. Just send us an email with the email address on it so we can send you an invite. And 
it'll be great to see you. I think it's going to be great to have a cuppa and a talk and a chat and raise money for a great cause, which is the Australia Cancer Foundation. Thank you so much for joining me here at Moronia Library. Take care of each other, look after each other. Remember, we're all in this together. Have a lovely afternoon. Bye.